Yeah. See, you have the book. See, there are three books. Three types of books. In for this particular uh, text, Ruda Renika, I strongly suggest you have the book with you. You will find it's necessary. Uh, number one. Number two. Those who want to read Shankar Bhashya, it's lovely in this. This is English translation, Shankar Bhashya. This is Shankar Bhashya original Sanskrit and Hindi translation. But in both these, there is no word to word meaning. If somebody, for them, word to word meaning is enough, this has word to word meaning alone. So you decide, and better you take the any book, one book at least, because from today end, at the end of the talk today, I may start the text. Okay, we start. Sahana Baba Tu, Sahana Bano Tu, Sahavidyam Karavava Hai, Tejasvina Vajita Mastuma Vidvishava Hai, Om Shanti 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 Arhivom Sivur Guru. Hariyo, Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo, Ishvara, Guru Reva Param Brahma, Tasme Se Gurave Inma. Vasudeva Sutam Devo, Tum Saja Nura Matam, Devaki Paramanam. Samasta Janakalya Karuna Namami Chinmaya Sadhguru Brahma Purnamada Purnamidam Purna Purnam Dajjati Purnasya Purnamadaya Purna Meva was his gate. Oh, Sham, Isham, Isham, Eddie. Very Thanks. He's perfect at his duties, Mr. Venkatrama. Right. You know, at my house, they always, always have problems. But now it is not so bad, I become a little decent. But when my mother was living, I was rakshasa. Understand? Little more, I will show. Little less, I will show. Right? And uh, today, now I'm not that bad, but necessity. Today, they gave me something before I came. I said, I had to talk and uh, coming back at 8.30, because normally I take my dinner at 7.15. So give me a little more. That's necessary for this. Right? But... That's not the main thing. That's only a means. Now, if we had an AC, it would have been more comfortable. We, we are having fans, right? This also naturally, so supposing fans are also not there, how will you design? You need all this. You need all this. But they're all means. 
they're all means. You need money, you need family, you need everything. Because Harikshit was hungry and thirsty, he lost his spoon and put a snake on the rishi's neck. So without satisfying the lower things, merely trying to say this whole thing is maya, you don't understand. You need maya. Firstly, I tell you, please listen to this. These are all very important. Without maya, somebody has not gone to the level of the rishis. What will they do? They go mad in this world. You need maya. Some of the mind to escape. You understand? You do need maya. TV. Telephones. Right? Trips. All this maya you need. Because you have not gone to that state. And there is emptiness in you. So you do need all this. So do not condemn any one of them, but understand they are all means. There is something more than this for which they are all needed, including family is needed for this. That's why in uh, at least South Indian marriages, before marriage, Kashi Yatra. Why Kashi Yatra? He straight finishes the Brahmachari Gurukula course. The teacher says, now you have three options. One, if you feel you are competent, take sannyas. Three, if you feel you are not that much, but certainly you would like a contemplative life, take to one of us. For all that, you go to Tirtha Yatra, then only you will get clarity. Go to Tirtha Yatras, you will get clarity. If you feel you need to grow through Gruhastha life, come and get married. Come and get married. So all that is necessary steps. You can't miss the steps, nor can you get stuck up with the steps. You neither can miss the steps, nor can you get stuck up with the ste steps. Right? This should be clear. Otherwise, what happens? We, without understanding, we say Maya, Maya, Maya. No? Maya is the glory of the Lord, His own expression. His own expression. Even Vidya is Vidya Maya. All these studies are also Maya. Vidya Maya. Right? So, for us presently, all of us are feeling incomplete. Otherwise, why are you doing anything? Are we struggling to get a head on the shoulders? It's already there. Yes, we are struggling to get into the head. That's different. Something into the head. Right? But head is already there. You will only struggle for what you don't have. But all, none of us for a minute keep quiet without trying for something or the other. That shows the inadequacy. So different people at their different levels try to fill this inadequacy in their own way. Many people think that getting comforts, money, wealth, people, that's the end of life. They think that's the end of life. So they deal with matter. That's called Bhuta. That's called Bhuta. Bhuta Loka. Bhuta Loka. Some others have enough of this. So little more uh, subtler joys. So they go to dances, musics, arts. Right? Subtler joys. They are called Gandharvas. 
there are manushya gandharvas there are deva gandharvas whatever we are whatever is there is here that is bhuta loka is here swarga loka is here gandharva loka is here brahma loka is here everything is here that doesn't mean that is not there it is here it is there also whatever is there is here whatever is here is there you mean what do you mean by there or there uh, areas like america in uh, england and all that no astral plane there are a lot of people in the astral plane progressing with they don't need a body some don't need a body for some time some don't need a body at all from there they progress right so people who want subtler joys swargaloka here itself manushya gandharva or swargaloka in the astral plane because astral plane it's a little more subtle but all these people have to come back because knowledge can be gained only in human birth even devatas have to come here only human birth you can get emancipation you get you come here we say brahma satyam jagan mithya jivo brahmai vana paraha and i am going to bombard with terms and all that for you all of you after some time you didn't know what you bargained for and came and sat in the class right but how many people can understand do you ignore them no they also should be given something so for them you say do pujas mere pujas your your mind gets sensitive and probably you become fit for gandharva loka mere pujas mere karma pitru loka pitruloka is maintaining tradition maintaining continuity maintaining values maintaining values bhuta loka pitruloka swarga loka right and then because you are not fit for the gnana what is gnana i once i take up i don't come to this topic so all this you need because you have to know everything has a place for somebody and everybody is growing in their own pace therefore do not try to compare criticize anybody do not try to compare criticize anybody arupasya is a ravana ravana had the blessing of being killed by rama you and i don't get that blessing you understand so we have no authority to try to judge others we have no authority at all all of us are beautiful in their own step each one is in different steps of the ladder so to revise because these are fundamentals they should never slip from your mind bhuta loka pitru loka swarga loka and after that you are not able to reach there some upasanas pujas and all that your samskaras are developed slowly taste is developed but that also is not a therefore they say purify your mind get rid of this attachments for wealth money enjoyments detach for that serve the society see god in all and serve them see god in all serve them purify the mind and intellect along with that do puja upasana karma and upasana karma and upasana then gradually having purified having tuned to bhagwan gradually they evolve their 
sensitivity, their contemplative power evolves and gradually they get liberated. That's called Brahma Loka or Krama Mudra. That's called Brahma Loka or Krama Mudra. Somebody is ready. The moment you say he has got it. Dakshinamurti, he didn't even talk. He just showed. He just showed the students understood. Chin Mudra. I'm not the body, I'm not the mind, I'm not the intellect, I'm the self. That's Chin Mudra, simple, as simple as that. They understood. Right? So for them, you don't need all these. You know, the modern education. Somebody can, 10-year-old boy has passed in America medical. If he has the capacity, he can directly write. He doesn't have to go through everything. So one who can get jnana direct, he doesn't need all that we talked about. Not ready, Brahma Loka. If the man from Brahma Loka, he doesn't need the lower ones. Right? So each one has to take according to their capacities. All these what we talk. Bhuta Loka, Itru Loka, Swarga Loka. Kramamu. There is still duality. Me and others. Me and God. Even Kramamukti, me and God. As long as there is duality, there is insecurity. As long as you can you believe this? Bhagavatam is a book of devotion. Bhagavatam is a book of devotion. There Krishna clearly says even the best of devotee, he classifies into four types. One who is a devotee does himsatmaka, you know, killing and all that. Another pomp and show. Another honestly devoted for purification, he does karmas and all that. Yet he says he is not also the highest because he still has duality. Me and he. He is keeping himself. So he is not making me complete. He still keeps himself away from me. So that is sattvic. Rajasik is pomp and show. Tamasik is killing. But who is the best of devotee? Bhagavatam says, you can't question me. You were talking as you like. Bhagavatam says, who is the best of devotee? Where there is no duality. Gita also says, Vasudevaha Sarvamiti Samahatma Sudurlava. There is nothing other than Vasudeva. That is the meaning of Aham Brahmasmi. It is not ego. I am Brahman. It is not ego. I be this thing. What you call as me is nothing but Brahman. There is no ego there. What you call as me is nothing but Brahman. That Mahavakya comes here in this book. We'll see that. Right? There is no ego there. So, you cannot be secure till there is no duality. As long as there is no security, there is no peace. So, till you get Jnana, See, uh, many of you are carried away by terms. So I try to make it very simple. But because I make it simple, you don't catch them. You expect bombastic words. That's not my problem. I will make it simpler, even this nana, right? This nana, duality ends, totally secure. Totally secured and therefore peaceful. What is this now? You say, I, I am hungry. When you said, I am hungry, you meant you are the body. Because body alone can be hungry. So you thought you were the body. I am angry. You thought you were the mind. Body is not the mind. Mind is not the body. Now sometimes you say I am the body. 
Sometimes you say, I am the mind. Now tell me clearly your identity. Whether you are the body, you are the mind. Because it's not respectable to speak to a man who cannot even clearly identify himself. Only a madman cannot identify himself. Tell me whether you are a body or the mind. No, I am confused. Now you tell me whether you are the body or the mind or the intellect. I see. When you said I see, I see. You, you said you are the eyes. I hear. You said you are the ears. Are you the eyes or the ears? Tell me. So much of confusion. Your own identity. Eyes are not the ears. Ears are not the eyes. I see. I hear. What are you? Body, mind, intellect. I say I, I, I. They are all different. So therefore, I can neither be the body, nor the mind, nor the intellect. I can neither be the eyes, nor can be the ears. What am I? They, I can be there without them. In sleep, you are not conscious of the body, you are not conscious of the mind, you are not conscious of the intellect, you are still there. I can be there without them. They cannot be there without me. They cannot be there without me. How to know that? Just watch. Simple exercise. Watch your mind. Don't try to control it. Just watch the mind. Let the thoughts go as they like. You just watch. At that time, you become conscious of the person who is watching, seer and seen. All that is seen is not me. I am the seer. All that is seen is not me. I am the seer. <laughs> seen all is dismissed. Seer cannot be dismissed. Seen dismissed. Seer cannot be Dismissed. Seeing is finite. Many. You are all my objects, many. But the one who sees is me alone. Here again, there is multiplicity. My eyes, my ear, my body, my mind, my intellect. One who sees them all is the me, the consciousness, the awareness, the life principle, which is conscious of its perceptions, its mind, its thoughts. So simple exercise, watch the mind, see who is watching, stay there for some time. Then the watching also drops. You are alone. Then. Simple, clean meditation to know the I. Very simple, clean meditation to know the I. This I, you are saying I, how? Because you, you are aware of yourself. You have the knowledge of that. And that never, I am the body, mind, intellect changes, but that I alone never changes. That's why all of us, when we start, we say, I am, I am, I am. I am is common. I, the life principle, the conscious principle, am which exists. Consciousness, life, existence are not different because you cannot have consciousness without existence. You cannot have existence without life, which is consciousness. They are not different. I am. Very simple. You have to go home. If you have not got it here, you could have got it here. I don't say you would. If you have not got just go home. Close your eyes and think you can feel this eye. And that is you are. After that, can you ever again forget that? Can you ever again think about the body, mind, intellect? They will trouble you because of the past vasanas. But you certainly know that's the body, that's the mind, that's the intellect, that's not me. They will trouble you. The vasanas will trouble even the rishis. But he knows. You also will know. 
and with this eye you are ever secure. This knowledge gives you security, gives you power to dismiss God. Don't try to put a case on me. Brother Renika says, this I gives you the power to dismiss God. There is no other God other than me. Right? With this knowledge, after that, you are ever secure. Yes, vasanas can trouble you, but that does nothing. Our Tapon Maharaj, our Parama Guru said, you are bathing in Ganges, half exposed to sun, half experiencing the chillness of waters. Right? So when the sun is too hot, take a dip into the waters. So you are now aware of this knowledge, plus also the heat of the world. When the world is too much, take a dip into your own self. Right? This is called knowledge, spiritual knowledge, Brahma Vidya. Why it's called Brahma Vidya? Every Vidya gives you some power. Every Vidya gives you some power, some facilities, some comfort, some security, relative. But that which gives you total security, total happiness, total comfort, is called the biggest, glorious, biggest and glorious in Sanskrit is called Brahma. The biggest of sciences, the glorious of sciences is Brahma Vidya. Right? Many of you are upset. He's repeating the same thing yesterday. I have to tell you, stop coming to the class. The moment you stop coming to the class, I know you got it. That's why many people don't come second time. Because they got it. Right? So this is from Vidya. Now to make money, you study, you study medicine. Medicine applied can get, as a doctor can get you money, but cannot give you straight money. Money you want to make, Economics, right? Health, you need medicine, engineering, different sciences for different objectives. What is that which gives us Brahma Vidya? That's called Upanishad. That's called Upanishad. Don't worry, I will somehow bargain with the authorities and get AC next week. Because see, even I have difficulties, so you must be having more difficulties. I will bargain with the authorities and get the AC. They are on. Still, why we are not getting Maybe time, little more. Earlier they should have. That's all right. Next time earlier, when you come, you put it. She comes earlier. I am not sympathetic with you. I don't want to lose my audience. Right? So, this Brahma Vidya also needs source books. Medicine. Only one book I know. And I go on repeating as if I know everything. Medicine. Grace anatomy. Author is gray. And his anatomy is called Grace anatomy. The only book I know. That's the source book. I think architect. Strength of materials. Stevenson. Somebody, right? Because I tried everything one, one month or something like that. Right? English. Lennon Martin Grammar. Right? Wordsworth, Shakespeare, books. 
पर वेदांता उपनिषद व्हाट इज उपनिषद उपा नियर नी डेफिनेटली शद गति विसरणा अवस्था do not try to ignore because i am saying a few sanskrit words just here they will do their work so don't worry they will do their work just do not try to be blind i can promise you i can talk without using one sanskrit word whole lecture but they you need them gati visarana avasa गति गोल विसरणा दूसनी अवसादना डिस्ट्रॉय टेक्स यू टू दि गोल लूसनिंग युवर डिपेंडेंसी बॉन्डे अवसादना ड्राइंग युवर इग्नोरेन्स यू आर नौ इग्नोरेन्ट ऑफ युवर ओन ऐडेंटिटी इट डिस्ट्रॉय दट एंड बाय दट लूसन युवर डिपेंडेंस बॉन्डे and takes you to the goal gati visarana avasadana definitely upa samiti near right near the guru near the goal attuned to the text whatever it is they can do their job but the text to upanishad shankara himself says is not that we can give, take you to the goal destroy ignorance it's a means it's the nearest is the nearest as you say delhi is on platform 4 in chennai how delhi is in platform 4 the vehicle that takes you to delhi is named after that delhi is named so the vehicle that takes you to that goal is also called upanishad it's called pit pratyaya what is the real upanishad your own self because that alone can destroy the ignorance that is the real upanishad mukhya upanishad these are gauna upanishads listen to these words because you are few in number so you, therefore you you have the opportunity to gather more so sanskrit words don't ignore not be worried if you don't understand both not necessary you don't have to be worried about them you don't have to ignore them because even without sanskrit words you can understand whatever i am talking because uh, i think uh, 63 concentrated training in bluffing i have 60 years right so you can understand so that is upanishad that which can take you to the goal what is the goal total security freedom from dependency freedom from death total happiness freedom from insecurity freedom from death freedom from dependence total happiness that's the goal immortality and bliss that goal through the book you can find it in you that's why in tamil uh, tiruvallu uh, has said you have to learn a lot this is said also in uh, bhagavatam and uh, brodarnapur you will not get the enlightenment till you forget all that you have learned you have to learn a lot but you have to forget all that because the truth is beyond the words words can only destroy what has qualities qualities are finite gunas qualities are finite brahman is infinite is beyond the gunas so unless you leave the gauna words 
the Gavana Upanishad, you will not be able to experience the Mukhya Upanishad. But you cannot leave them till you are ready to parachute into that dimension. You, you, you need all that. This you must not forget. Because all of us will all the time say this is Maya, this is secondary. But you should know you need Maya and secondary to prepare yourself to the ultimate. But then why this is emphasis? Because most of the people get stuck there. They think that's the ultimate. Yoga. Yoga is needed to keep the body trim. But they think through yoga you get everything. Meditation. People think through meditation you will get everything. Knowledge, books, you will get everything. Nothing you will get. Headache, you will get. Head weight, you will get. Okay. So you have to go beyond this. That's why Mundukopanishad clearly says what is Aparavidya, what is Paravidya. Ruk, Yadu, Sama, Adharva, Chiksha, Kalpa, Vyakarana, Chandas, Jyotisham, Iti. All this is Aparavidya. Secondary. What? Rukveda is secondary. Yujurveda is secondary. Samaveda is secondary. Atharvan Vedas. Then what is primary? If all these Vedas are shed off. Because they are Shankara beautifully says. Somebody asks, Vedas are eternal. Shankara says, what Vedas are you talking? Assemblage of words. They are finite. Assemblages of words are finite. The Veda that is revealed in yourself is the real Veda. These are all pointers. These are all pointers. Mundaka Upanishad says, so therefore that's all apara. Then what is para? Yaya tadaksharam adhikam mete. Through which you transcend all limitations, all the words. All the words. You don't have to go to consciousness. That also you can experiment straight away. It's beyond words and all that. You can experiment. But simple thing, love. Come on, tell me. Love. Whatever lecture you can give, any number of books, still will not, still is not love. Love you have to feel in yourself. Simple thing. I'm not talking about Brahma. Brahma Vidya. Love. Forget. I'm not used to that. Hatred. Even hatred. You have to feel it. Books cannot reveal it. If this is so, for simple, normal, mundane things, how much more it should be for Brahma Vidya. You have to leave them and go. Right? So that's called Paravidya. Upanishads. Right? So we said last week that for opera you need to do work, produce utpadyam, samskara, reform, vikarya, modify, prapya, obtain. For what you already have, what you have to do? Only to know knowledge. I already have it. How will I know? Because I can only know, my intellect can know finite things, limited things, qualities. This can be known. How? When the Guru points out to you. When the Guru points out to you, you can know it. Apavarusheyam. You cannot by your own know it. But it can be known through the Guru. Through the Guru. So Upanishad is God through the Guru. How? Sravana. First listen. Till now you never knew that there is something like this. That Agnana is gone. There is nothing like this through Sravana. Agnana, there is nothing like this, is gone through Sravana. I don't understand. That Agnana is gone through Manana. Reflections. I don't experience that agnana is gone through meditation, 
Nididhyasana. So the three means are Shravana, Manana, Nididhyasana. So I have to do one by one, not necessary. If you are a brilliant student, as you are listening, you have done all the two, Manana and Nididhyasana. As you are listening, you can get it. Right? So, am I inferior? I don't know. Nothing. An LKG student is not inferior to a doctorate. He is in this. He was here. Now you are here, you will go there. Nobody is inferior. Right? Nobody is in. First thing in spirituality, even for your material peace, accept yourself as you are. I'm a fool. Yes, I'm a fool. I don't want to explain. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. So what? So what? I will one day become wise. It has to happen. Nature's law, evolution. Where is the hurry? Enlightened men cannot do, man cannot do several, as a fool I can do several things. That's my privilege. So what? I'm a fool. I'm a fool. Accept yourself. You are an angry man. Yeah, I am an angry man. Accept yourself. No resistance. Conflicts end and you are at peace. Accept yourself. As you accept yourself, you have to accept others also. As you accept yourself, you have to accept others also. This acceptance is called surrender. This acceptance is called surrender. That is why only surrender is the solution to gain this knowledge. Because what is surrender? All my false notions, all my false knowledge, all my false identities, I draw. And then I realize I am. Na karmana, na prajaya, dhanena, yagena yekena. Only through renunciation. Renounce the confusion that you are the body, you are the mind, you are the intellect. Renounce the confusion, you are different, I am different. Renounce the confusion, you are different, God is different. Right? So, this is Upanishad, Shravana, Manana, Nididhyasana. I will take that up later because we cannot skip the mid, middle persons who were not ready there but yet struggling to reach. Katha Upanishad puts it beautifully. When Najiketas goes to Yamaraj, Yamaraj asks three boons. I don't, I'm not going into the entire Katha. Ask three boons. He says, first, my father should be peaceful. Charity starts at home. Second, the whole society is disturbed. For them, relative peace, some relative peace, some uh, launching pad give them. Brahma Mukti, Brahma Vidya, Nachiketas, Igna. Then ultimately, knowledge. So you can't skip this Brahma Mukti. And one more thing I can tell you. All of us get concepts. Brahma Mukti means gradual liberation. That means after you leave the body, you are in astral plane with all subtle minds and the total mind intellect guides you and gradually you learn and you become Brahman. Thereafter, you don't come back. That's called Krama Mukti. But that it can happen here itself. Because everybody doesn't get it immediately on the spot. When he said Brahma Satyam Jagan Mithya, everybody don't get it. Here itself, you are purifying, you are gradually, slowly understanding, meditating. One day here itself, you can get the revelation. So therefore, Krama Mukti need not necessarily be after the death. Right? 
because there's a lot of confusion on these topics. Many people think Brahma Mukti, I will get after death. There is a Brahma Loka there. There is no Brahma Loka there in a geographical area. It is there. Total astral plane is there. Total mind is guiding you. It's all there. But not as you think geographical areas, Brahmaji sitting there, Yamadharmaraja sitting there. God doesn't need all of them. He wishes, he becomes Brahma, he becomes Yamadharmaraja. He himself does all. He doesn't need different people there in different offices. He himself does everything. Right? So, all that we have heard is true. Is also not true. Know that there's a Brahma Loka. All that is true. But it's not also true as you conceptualize. Right? So this Krama Mukti, what is the basis on that? Why you are not able to get it immediately like many get? Not many, a few get. As is spoken, they get it. Why? You are not able to get it. Unless you think and try to analyze yourself, you will not get the benefit. Why you are not getting it? Be honest. Your mind is not totally available. Your mind is not totally available. My mind itself, I am eager to go home and see uh, Bangladesh and India playing T20. You understand? My mind itself is not available. But what is the beauty? The moment you get this nana, you can be amidst any maya, nothing can touch you. Nothing can touch you. You can play the drama. You can dance with the people who dance. You can joke with the people you can joke. But you are in your own plane. Yoga Ratova, Bhoga Ratova, Sangha Ratova, Sangha Veen, Yesya Brahma Niramate Chittam, Nandati 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 Nandati. Where your mind revolves, that's important. Not your body. Where your mind revolves. You can be in the dancing hall, Bhoga Ratova. Yoga Ratova, you can be in Himalayas. In Himalayas, your mind is in dance. In the bath, some people's mind is in the class. So, yes, Brahman Ramate Chittam Nandati Nandati Nandati. So, that is why Shravana immediately they don't get because they have so many desires. With those desires, when you listen, you will not get it. So, what I am condemned, I am useless. No, nobody is condemned because all are gods. All are gods, all are beautiful, none to be condemned. So what am I to do? Try to know. You have desire for what? Happiness. Try to understand what is the best happiness that you can get. Why are you going for cheap things? These are finite, these give you sorrow. There is something greater than this. Come on, move. So that type of knowledge, and that type of living beyond the identification of the body, mind, and intellect, ego, trying to see God in all, serve in all, the egoistic desires gets lessened. And as you speak, he meditates, he gradually grows. This is called Brahma Mukti. That is karma plus upasana. Upasana is meditation. Karma plus upasana. Karma itself is twofold. Normal activity everybody does, laukika karma it's called. Then rituals karma is called alaukika karma. Through alaukika karma, rituals, you can go to Pitru Loka, you can go to Swarga Loka. But then this alaukika karma coupled with meditation, you get Kramamu. Purify with karma. Contemplate with Upasana. 
This is called Ramon. Huh. What time? Good time? Yeah. So, this Upasana, how does it work? First of all, there's law. I may go Upasana itself, next class also. Those who feel is going on talking the same thing, be happy. Take off one day from next class. Because God, if I have to have 10 people, he will send some others. My quota. Because they have to suffer. Right? So, this Upasana is what? National flag. What is it? Piece of cloth or something more than that? Colors. Can you stamp on that? You can if you are prepared to die. You can't say you can't. Stamp it only once. After that, you won't live. National flag. This picture. Do you see it as a picture? No. Gurudev is sitting, Paramahur is sitting. Yeah. It's a paper, painting, colors. But once a concept is put on that, it no more is that. You see that. You see national flag, the entire nation. The patriot in you is aroused. You become a patriot by seeing the national flag. It's a piece of cloth. But you change. You become a patriot. Here you become a devotee. <clears throat> Seeing this, you become a devotee. Seeing a flag, you become a patriot. You change completely. <clears throat> with a small piece of cloth, with paper, you change. Why? Man is his mind. Man is his mind. So what you see, that you become. In a cloth, you see the nation, you become a patriot. In a, this thing, you see God, Gurudev, you become that. Because mind takes that form and you become that. This is the principle of Upasana. Nitkrusta Vastuni, Utkrusta Darshan, Nitkrusta, inferior material. Utkrusta, high concept. Visualizing is called upasana. It's called upasana. Manjanala say you know, manjanala say you know, you do pillar with manjal. After that, do you treat it as manjal? You treat it as pillar. Pillar chaviti, everybody does it. Mat. Puja is over. Do you throw it off? You have to do it properly, Mr. Jana, because it is not mat. After that. So that's Upasana. To try to involve and become one with the object of your Upasana. The object merges in you. The object becomes the subject. The object becomes the subject. That's called Upasana. And Bhagavatam gives what are all the things to do upasana. Shaili tone. Dharumai wood. Low, low key metal. Tata lep ya. Superimpose something, you know. Uh, you, you will see Varvakshmi also. You have a, a vessel. On that, you put painting. Lekya, Lekya, right? Artwork, Lekya, Saikati, Mat, Mano Mayi, mind itself. Some people in mind itself they invoke. Mani Mayi, money, stone, you know, precious stones. Diamond for Sukra, right? Coral for Angaraka. Mani Mayi, Pratima, Astavidas, Mata. Eight types of pratimas means idols. You invoke them. 
and he says that this upasana, this, through this upasana, only you invoke all your other gods. Evam rupohi prajapati vishnuhu vishnupadi karanamiva. Your Vishnu, your Krishna, your Rama, they are all these Upasanas only, Prajapati, Brahma, and all that. Right? They are all this. But Ramana, Rama is no God. Why? He didn't see. He is like, he's God only, but he didn't see. So, what you invoke, that you feel. What do you, why in India, you know, very famous. You just by accident eat this. You just don't go normal, normally. Today, dates, days are changing. In our period, you just by accident it also, you do this. Because it's God. It's God. So that is Upasana. And the topmost two person in them is called Brahmo Pasana, not Brahman, Brahmaji, Chaturmukha Brahman, which is also called Prajapati, which is also called Hiranyagarbha, which is also called Virat, which is also called Ashra, Ashramedha. This is the highest of Upasanas. Why it is the highest? We'll see. Is there time? Take 54. Le? Huh? 7.55. Yeah, 7.55. Five minutes only. I told you 8 o'clock. So, I'll just end my bluff for the day. Right? So, Hiranyagar Upasana is the highest. Right? That is the subject matter here. Ashramedha. Ashra is in Ashra, you invoke Hiranyagar Bha. Hiranyagar Bha himself with the form is Virata. What is Virata? 11th chapter Gita, seeing all in Bhagavan. So in the hearts, you see everything. The whole world, you see everything in the hearts. Then what you do? What you do? As I said, whatever you invoke, that you become. Mind is the thing. You invoke the whole world in Ashwa. You are meditating on that. Ashwa is Prajapati. You become the Prajapati. Once you become the Prajapati, the difference between you and me and the Prajapati, he never forgets he is Brahman. We forget. So there, once you become Virat, when you, once you become Prajapati, you know all this is my mind. I have only gathered them all into this. The whole world is nothing but my mind. They are all seen. I am the seer. In this knowledge, what happens? Because I realize the whole world is me, the world disappears into me. The Ashwa is sacrificed to me. That is Purusha Sukta Master. Abhadnan Pashum. You sacrifice the Purusha for the knowledge. The very Purusha has to be sacrificed. Here, Ashwa, Prajapati has to be sacrificed. What is sacrificing? It's not killing. That animals are for lower gods, it says. Offering to gods is a, another sacrifice. Here, you offer the Ashwa through knowledge to be yourself. See, the Ashwa is offered to the self. The Ashwa is offered to the self. The Ashwa, the Prajapati becomes you. So, gradual liberation. Through Upasana, through Karma, you get the knowledge. So, need not be after death. Need not be after death. Karma and Upasana. But do you need all that? Not necessary. There are simpler, beautiful ways we will see. 
But then why you are putting if we don't need it? Through this process of understanding, what you don't need also, through the cumbersome process also, you are getting training to focus. You are getting training to focus. You understand? So I thought I'll just start the text today. No, only next week. We start the text next week. Om Purnamada Purnamadam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Hivom Sri Guru Pyonam Hari Hivom